third assignment for BCM 110, I will be creating a research report on the representation of women in sports magazines. My report falls into the week three category of representation and interpretation, and I will be tying in relevant theories that we have learnt about this semester. Using Stuart Hall's encoding and decoding model, I will be addressing the ways patriarchal ideology is perpetuated through the imagery used in these types of magazines. Through my report, I aim to highlight the importance of proper representation of female athletes by starting at the original source, print media. It is definitely an area worth exploring as the implications of this cannot be understated. When researching this topic so far, I have found a number of studies that support my ideas and provide evidence that I will be able to build upon in my report. These studies found that when women are featured in sporting magazines, they are often overly sexualized, portrayed as passive, and not even seen doing athletic things most of the time. A 2017 study found that women accounted for just 10% of the athletes on 245 different front covers of two of the most popular sporting magazines. Additionally, a 2018 content analysis of the front covers of Sports Illustrated from 1954 to 2016 revealed that women were featured on more covers between 1954 to 1965 than they were between 2000 to 2011. My report will be structured with firstly an introduction of my topic with reference to the articles and papers mentioned in my annotated bibliography. Secondly, I will build off of that and include examples of my own research on more recent magazines. Next, I'll discuss patriarchal ideology and explain the encoding and decoding model. I'll possibly also reference Leswell's hypodermic needle theory. To finish off, I will write about the implications of this and wrap up my conclusion with a recap of my findings as well as ways to move forward.